For reasons that continue to elude and confuse me, people in my comment section oddly keep asking me if I would do a makeup tutorial on my channel. Particularly the comments over on my gaming channel have a lot of people asking me the same thing. Now obviously I'm not going to do a makeup tutorial because that would imply that I know what I'm doing, which is incorrect and you would be sadly mistaken. When I do my makeup, I basically just go with the flow, try to learn new things as I've adapted and just continue doing those same bad habits over and over again and hope that it looks nice in the end. So I'm going to call this a makeup routine video because it's my makeup routine that's personal to me and not really a tutorial because then it would be terrible and you guys would learn really bad habits but you never know throughout the next 20 minutes if you don't learn anything useful at least maybe you get to enjoy having a chat with me for the next 20 minutes about random garbage. So first things first I'm going to need to put my bangs up because I do have bangs and I normally I would use these like velcro strips that I found online where you just part your bangs and velcro them because it stops it from like sticking up I guess because obviously when you do this we're a hairband it sticks up and stays up and is very annoying now i'm going to talk to you a little bit about the products i use and just go through this with you guys because i thought it'd be fun you'll notice that my skin it does not look great i have quite red skin so while in person my skin feels pretty smooth and looks all right just to look at in bright lights like this or on a camera the red spots definitely show very heavily and make me feel a little bit self-conscious so when it comes to recording gaming videos and things like that with big bright lights on me all the time while i'm streaming recording whatever it might be obviously I will need to cover that up which is why I usually put foundation on my neck as well because you know my neck isn't ideal I've actually just decided to buy some tinted moisturizer or more specifically the Charlotte Tilbury one and I've forgotten what it's called now but it's got a special name and everybody always raves about how good it is but I've just ordered some of it to try where it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer and you put it on and instead of being as heavy as a foundation it's just like a lighter flawless filter that's the one it's like a lighter filter for your skin so I'm gonna give that a try at least for my neck because then I won't need to waste foundation on my neck but for the time being I do need to because otherwise I would be really embarrassed the whole time I was recording. Now this kind of is a two beds one stone kind of moment for me because I'm actually going to be recording a ton of gaming videos today. I need to record lots so it's perfect timing to want to do my makeup I suppose because it will help me get started. So without further ado we'll talk about what I do and no doubt there'll be tons of comments and people telling me why it's a terrible idea and why I do it all wrong and one thing I do want to say before we get started I, I always say I'm not an expert I just kind of learned and did it my way and just always have but one thing I will will say is that when it comes to my eyebrows I hit doing my eyebrows. I recognize that lots of you in the comments feel the need to tell me about how bad my eyebrows are all the time but I don't care because I hate doing my eyebrows okay. I have like one little brow stick thing that I just use to just darken them a tiny little bit so they don't look pale when my makeup's on but that's all I do. I don't shave them, I don't pluck them because I hate it but you'll be happy to know that on Wednesday next week I do have an appointment at a beauty therapist who does my spray tans and stuff and is going to shave, wax and like tint my brows for me. If I don't have to deal with it anymore and you guys can stop commenting about it anyways so let's go ahead and get started so first things first what i always use when i first start which i've already put on before the beginning of the video is i do use the charlotte tilbury magic cream i love this cream you guys i don't know if i can show you charlotte's magic cream this i go through this stuff like crazy like obviously i try to use a reasonable amount but i do go through this stuff a lot it's actually refillable you can pull the like middle out so you don't have to repay for like all the pot and stuff again which is nice because it saves a little bit of money but it does last me a while to be fair i say i go through it a lot but like i go through maybe three or four of them maybe a year like they do reasonably last for about three months in a tub so you know definitely not the worst thing in the world it is a bit expensive but i do like it so right after i have done my moisturizer i immediately put on the charlotte's magic serum crystal elixir this one i really really like this even though obviously i don't really know what it does i do use it and now the reason i use it for anybody that's interested considering i don't know what it does is because i actually went to charlotte tilbury where i live there isn't one but i was traveling and i went to a charlotte tilbury in birmingham and i decided to ask them if they would do my makeup for me so the woman who worked at the stall actually did my makeup for me she took all my makeup off that i had on and did my makeup from scratch for me with a charlotte tilbury product and she used this like crystal elixir stuff and the various different things and i decided to buy the product so that i could do it at home as well and so now i continue to do it at home using those products i will say i did buy the charlotte tilbury brushes along with it at the time i don't even use these anymore i don't know what it is about them but they're not like bad brushes by any means i just don't personally feel like they're the best brushes for me 
Maybelline. I actually bought a set of Spectrum brushes and personally, I just really like those a lot. So I use those a lot. Right now, my target areas and the main problems I have, as you can probably tell, is I have quite dark circles. The life of a gaming YouTuber means, especially when you do gaming updates for video games, where the earners of those games are based in America, eight hours behind me, means that I have a lot of late nights. So I've always got dark circles. I'm starting to get some wrinkles under my eyes too. I'm 25 nearly. And then also I do have my red patches. Now, sometimes if I'm having a really bad day, I'll put some of that green like color corrector on for the red patches to reduce it. But honestly, too lazy for that. So I'm not doing that today. This is like my look that I go for when I'm recording videos or maybe just going grocery shopping. Like I'll just do like the same basic look. Sometimes when I'm streaming, I'll do something really drastic and over the top, like really nice eyeshadow or eyeliner. I'm not gonna do that today because I don't have the energy for it. And I only do that during like special events or when I'm really, really, really feeling it. So next up, I always put on this, which I need to get some more of because it's almost run out. This is the Invisible UV Flawless Primer SPF 50. This is also Charlotte Tilbury. So I like this because it just gives a nice base and it also means I'm not gonna worry about my face all day while I am out. Obviously it is an SPF, but personally, I've only just started really wearing regular SPF, which I realize is bad, especially when I have like such damaged and easily like broken skin. So I definitely need to be using it more. And now that I've started to get eye wrinkles, I decided I wanna use it even more anyways because there's eye wrinkles and the dry patches on my face are starting to drive me crazy. So I do like to put the SPF on and I just put it all underneath the makeup and on top of the crystal elixir because it just gives my face a nice base and honestly never been really a primer kind of person i never really felt like it made a difference to me in my makeup but i try to think of it more as even though it might not make a difference like physically for the feeling obviously having a barrier between my makeup and my skin is a good idea so i try to do that and one thing i do want to say is even though the charlotte Tilbury products are kind of expensive i do feel really good when they're on like the next day it doesn't necessarily feel like any different to like any other cream maybe i use but when i'm putting them on and like the first 10 minutes after wearing them I have to say that like my face just feels so nice and soft and my skin feels lovely so I do have to say Charlotte Tilbury stuff is definitely my favorite stuff that I've used especially because it hasn't caused me to have any allergies and allergies are really common for me so it's nice that I am not allergic to any of her products and it just means that I can just buy them without fear all the time because back in the day a couple of years ago when I was still learning about make different makeup products I was having allergic reactions all the time so it's nice to find something that I can use without worrying now I keep getting it in my eye because I'm useless I am fresh out of an allergic reaction I just had a really bad one recently one of the worst ones I've ever had and it like ruined my face for days and so my eyes are still a little bit dry and stuff so please bear with me okay so normally I would put a little bit of concealer on obviously but because I'm not going out I'm just gonna be in front of a camera which does have like a skin smoothing effect on my stream camera anyway I don't like to waste my concealer it's already kind of expensive so since I'm just gonna be on camera and not going out anywhere I'm not gonna use concealer today so I go straight over to the airbrush flawless foundation also Charlotte Tilbury I love this I use the shade cool Freud number two cool Freud because I am pale as a baby's butt so obviously I just put like two squats on the back of my hand and I use a blending sponge I actually found this sponge specifically from a TikTok shop and even though I don't really like TikTok or use it this has been the best blending sponge I've ever earned and it's by cosmetics by Chloe or sorry Kirka cosmetics by Chloe if you manage to find it I love this sponge normally I use the real technique ones but this one is really good so then I just obviously just go around and put my foundation on now I know some people I like to use a brush or their fingers. I know some people like to comment on my videos and tell me why I should. I have used a brush before. I used to use the Charlotte Tilbury brush. Personally, I just prefer a sponge. I know that like you waste more products with sponges than you do with brushes, but I just, I just hate using a brush to put my makeup on guys. It just drives me crazy. It's just not my kind of thing. I hate it. One thing I will say is that a lot of people, I think, think that they're doing you like a service, like helping you by telling you when you do your makeup like incorrectly or if you should do it a certain way or something like that. But for me personally, I actually find it really, really irritating when people tell you how to do your makeup. I really don't like like the unwarranted tips. I prefer to just ask people or Google it if I want to know. Because I don't know, I guess I've just never been very good at taking like criticism and I'm trying to do better, but I just kind of just, I think that you shouldn't give criticism on things you can't fix straight away. So I hate it when like people are 
were like, oh, you should do your makeup like this. And I'm like, girl, my makeup's already on. Like, there's nothing I can do about what I'm wearing right now. My makeup is already on. So what you're saying to me right now is completely unhelpful because unless I go and redo my whole makeup right the heck now, there is nothing I can do with the information you are giving me right now. So I, don't, I guess I don't mind if it's like for the future reference kind of tip, but I hate it when someone in person is like, oh, you should have done your makeup like this. Like, okay, thanks. That's really helpful now that I've already done it. Anyways, today I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This one is in Fair Slash Pale and I just use it to just set around. I try to avoid like the corners of my nose or places where my skin gets particularly dry, but I have to put it on my neck. My neck doesn't really get dry. It just gets like the transfer on my clothes. So I've got to put it on my neck to at least try not to rub the makeup off too much. But also if I leave it too wet, it just kind of feels weird and I don't like it. It's got to dry it out. I actually don't often use Charlotte Tilbury powder. I actually like to use, I think it's Wet n Wild that I normally use these days, just because it just glows on my skin really nice and it's not as expensive. So personally, I tend to use that more often these days. But then again, this video is using a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products. So I thought I would keep my stuff as simplistic as possible. If you're anything like me, I hate it when I have to buy like a million different things. So I just quite like to just have simplistic and easy flow of things. So next up, I'm gonna use one of my Spectrum brushes. I like to use this big like flat one. It's very, very poofy. And again, I have the exact same brush again in like, they're both the same, I think, the same size. I use one for blush and one for bronzer just because I think they're really nice. Now, right now the bronzer that I am using, I sometimes contact with liquid when I'm going out somewhere or doing something special. Not doing that today, I'm just recording videos. So I use the Films That Glow and Bronze from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't really use the glow side very much. I'm not really a highlighter kind of person, but I definitely use the bronze. I just grab it and I just pop it on the cheekbones or just slightly underneath the cheekbones. Now I actually had dare more filler in my cheekbones, so I tried to go along with where the like filler was so that it makes it a little bit easier to sort of give that shadow effect I suppose. I don't really do a whole lot with the top of my forehead because I have bangs so it's mostly going to be covered up unless the wind blows anyway. So I kind of just make it look reasonable and then I just sort of leave it because there's not much point in messing around with it when there's basically no chance inside the house that anyone's ever gonna see it. I might do a little bit more if I'm going out when I know it's gonna be windy, but when I'm inside the house, there's just virtually no point because no one's gonna see my forehead anyway. And I usually just use the edge of the brush, which I realize is not the best way to do it. So like just go down the edges of my nose if I'm staying inside. Since I am doing like a tutorial video, I will do it the way I do it when I go out, which is to just grab a little brush, grab a little bit of the bronzer and just go down the side of my nose. I admit, I actually do want to improve my makeup and start doing it a bit better, but it's just, just just so much time required to like learn new makeup tips and stuff like that and to watch tutorials. And I just have so little time right now. I'm basically always working. And anytime I'm not working, I try to spend time with like friends and stuff like that and family. But then on top of that as well, I've been trying to like, I've been having vocal therapy and stuff to try and improve my voice more because I'm just not happy with how it sounds or where it is right now. There's still so much more to do. There's still too much raspiness in my voice and like thickness and depth to my voice and I'm really really struggling with it and to be honest I'm not gonna get into it because I'll end up crying on camera but like it's just been really stressing me out recently so I've been so 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 focused on that alongside my work and just like drowning in like trying to stay focused but it's honestly just driving me crazy at the moment and I am definitely struggling. Anyways today I'm gonna use the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in High Blush Blush Euphorescent. I don't even know what any of that means but it says it's Pink Gasm which is the colour Charlotte Tilbury. It's it's a blush, a liquid blush. You get the idea. And I literally am just gonna, I have to be careful cause it's kind of leaky. So like it's coming out a lot more than it usually would at the moment. So you gotta be careful. And I use this big brush, which is probably a bit too big for blush, but I do like to have those pinky cheeks. My main focus at the moment is trying to improve my skincare regime because my skincare regime definitely needs some wear. And to be honest, one of the biggest things I should have done is put concealer under my eyes because I just realized that even though I've done my makeup, the underneath of my eyes are really, really dark. Like the dark circles are really bad. But to be fair, like, is it gonna really make that much of a difference? Probably not. I just need to sleep more. We a mess, guys. We a mess. But to be honest, 
that's for another day, so it's fine. Right now, I do not have the energy to deal with it. So then what I'm gonna do is I literally just grab this Il Maquillage brow pencil that I've had for ages, this little like, fluffy thing, and I just color it in just slightly because they are very, very, very like, I don't know how to describe my eyes. My eyebrows are just terrible. They're just awful. And I really, really, really do need to have them done. But I hate doing it myself. So I'm going to have them wax instead and have them tinted so that I don't have to do this anymore. I usually just literally fill in the colour a tiny bit so they're not as pale. And then sometimes I go over them with a spoolie so that they're in like shape, if that makes sense. And then that's it. I literally just leave them. After that, I hate doing brows they are so wildly and out overgrown and like there's literally hairs coming all the way down that needs to be plucked out but like my energy levels for this situation is very low especially on my bangs pretty much cover it anyway so unfortunately i'm not gonna bother today now sometimes i will put like a little nude eyeshadow on i can't bother today because i'm just recording videos so i literally just do my eyelashes now so i'm gonna curl them a little bit and then put my mascara on and then the mascara of my choice, it's my favourite mascara, I use it all the time, is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, it's brown. Personally, I just feel that with my very pale skin and green eyes, that the brown mascara goes better. That's just my opinion, of course. And I don't actually know the facts behind using brown or black mascara, but I do like to use brown, so I just do. Then once I'm done with that, I will usually grab a baby wipe to baby wipe the makeup that I've got onto my lips off and also off my hands, then sort my lips out. Now, usually I do like to wear a red lip, but I've been feeling kind of bad about myself recently. You know, I've got that low self-esteem kind of moment. And so I haven't been doing red lipstick as much because I feel like I just don't look nice with it right now. Even though I like it, I just worry too much that other people are thinking I don't like look right with it. I need to care less about what other people think, but when people comment out my voice a lot and stuff and other things about me and my eyebrows and things that, you know, they feel like they need to comment on. And then when like the most Google thing about me is if you're a boy or a girl because of how I sound and stuff like that. That. I'd rather not draw attention to myself in any way, so I tend to just end up not doing stuff that I like so that it avoids other people commenting on it. So at the moment, the main thing I am using is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick Mrs. Kisses and the Pillow Talk lip liner is what I've been mainly using primarily for the last few weeks, really. I've actually owned this for a while now. Again, I bought this when I was in Birmingham when they did my makeup for me because it was recommended and I've just used it since. This video is probably more like top 10 makeup mistakes you're making kind of style videos versus things you should actually listen to, but this is just what I personally do. You can tell I rely heavily on my natural beauty to get me through the world, which is obviously a joke. I rely heavily on herping nobody else looks at me too long so that they notice all the issues that I have and errors that I make. Anyways, after that, obviously, I'll just brush my bangs back down, sometimes put a setting spray on, sometimes I have a panic attack because I think that my makeup's really, really bad and I look terrible. The usual. I think that my bangs are probably going to be a job for dry shampoo because they're definitely not going to like stay flat I don't think today because they have not been cooperating the last couple of days and I don't want to wash my hair yet because I don't like to just wash my bangs I'm too lazy and I hate washing my hair too early let me get the dry shampoo now, sometimes I might wear my hair down for videos, but today is not going to be one of those days. My hair is looking extra poofy today than usual, and I'm just not vibing with it. So I'm thinking probably a high pony, just like what I had when I started the video, to be honest, anyways. And then I have these like little bits that I had cut shorter out of my bangs to just pull out at the sides. That. So I will just brush those back out, try to get the bangs to look somewhat reasonable, which they're gonna, they're gonna fight with me all day today, I can tell, but it's fine. And I'll just pull these like little strands out and just wear them like that. So that is usually what I will do for just like the basic makeup. My bangs are just a tiny bit shorter than normal. Normally they cover my eyebrows. The reason they're a bit shorter is because I've got a bit of a longer wait between seeing the hairdresser this time. So I was like, let's get the bangs a little bit shorter so they've got space to grow. But yeah, so that's what I will usually do for my like just daily just recording videos and things like that makeup obviously i need to get dressed still and i do need to sort these out because they're still bouncing in the middle more than they're bouncing everywhere else which is a little bit annoying but yeah so that's what i usually do i hope you enjoyed this video i found it interesting you probably didn't it's probably not useful in any way whatsoever and i don't know why people wanted to see it but there you go that's what i do for my just like daily every day going out and doing stuff makeup which i would encourage you to watch any other youtuber on youtube's video for it instead because they will no doubt be significantly better than mine all right thanks for watching i'll see you soon Bye.